Hello everyone, today I'll be introducing some book accurate roleplay tips for Warrior Cats Ultimate Edition. Before we start, I just want to mention that you don't have to use these in roleplays, they're just ideas to make a roleplay feel more like the books. Let's begin. Starting off with name and bio. Notice the apostrophe between Storm and Crest? This isn't how it looks in the books. The prefix and suffix are merged together like one word. This is optional and doesn't change the roleplay. Time for desks. The symbols next to the description uses up characters. Removing unnecessary symbols in the bio and name can be useful when trying to fit more information in. Next up are roles. Try and research about roles before claiming them. You can learn more about clan roles using the Starpedia, WarriorCats.com and the Warriors Wiki. The clan roles are located in the lore section of the Starpedia. Pause to read about clan roles. Skip to 1 minute and 25 seconds if you don't want to. The warrior code is an important part of the books and can be useful to know. I'll put the code on screen for you to read if you want to. Patrols are a very important part of warrior cats. Going on patrol can make sure no cats from other clans are on your clan's territory. Cats also go hunting on patrols to feed their clan. For the final tip, here's how to be a decent leader. In warrior cats, each life represents one trait. For example, one of Firestar's gifted traits was the ability to make hard decisions. Try and show the new traits when you get back to your clan as it can make a roleplay more interesting.